Hello, in this tutorial, I'm going to cover installing Joomla 3.5, which is the latest release from Joomla. 3.5, the version that I'm running, is in beta testing and is not released to the general public as of yet. Um, first of all, I'm creating a database. But already created it here, and uh, I'm now going to add a user for that database um, so that we can install Joomla 3.5. It's important when you create a database user that you also give that user permission on the database, which you can see me doing here. I've also already uploaded all of the Joomla core files to my server into the public HTML directory. This means when I visit my website address here, it will also it will automatically bring me to the installation page which you can see in front of you now. So to install this, um, I'm going to pick English uh, United Kingdom. Unfortunately, there isn't an option for Ireland. Um, the site name, I'm going to put in my company name, Ireland Website Design. I'm going to pop in my email address. And my username and password. I'm also going to confirm the password. So I've done that, I can click next, and now I can enter in um, the details of my database. So I'm just going to go back a couple of steps, and I'm going to get that information now. So my user is here. So this is my username, my password, and my database was test. Good to use this as quite a random prefix. It means that um, it's harder for a hacker to hack your website because they'd have to guess the table prefix. So in this case, I'm not going to install any demo content. And uh, as you can see, um, my server is compatible with everything that's needed by Joomla. If it's not, um, you would contact your hosting company or server provider. Um, if you don't have your own VPS or dedicated server like we do. So you can see that's installing now, and it can take a little while. And there you go, it's done. There you go. Uh, always recommend removing the installation folder. Okay, perfect. And now we can have a look at the back end and the front end. So the front end is loading there now. As you can see, it, that's Joomla 3.5 front end loaded with the default team. And we can see the back end here, which I can now log into. I used the wrong username at that time. So I'm just going to do that again. And now you can see the back end of Joomla 3.5. Thank you.